When a narcissist loses control over you, these are what they do all the time. Hello everyone. Welcome once again to our channel. Today's topic has been inspired by several intriguing questions I've received regarding how narcissists respond when they encounter someone impervious to their influence, someone who firmly resists manipulation. In this discussion, I will shed light on a handful of typical scenarios where a narcissist might grapple with a loss of control, as well as the common reactions they might exhibit in such situations. The insights provided here are particularly relevant when a narcissist faces a new situation, environment, or relationship where their standard strategies and tactics fail to yield the desired outcomes. This is distinctly different from situations where they initially had control, but eventually lose it. If you find the insights in this video enlightening, I strongly encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Let's delve into the core of narcissism. At its heart, narcissism is characterized by an incredibly fragile and illusory self-concept. A staggering sense of entitlement is also a key feature. Narcissists perceive themselves as superior beings, uniquely gifted, and they expect others to acknowledge and treat them accordingly. They firmly believe that they are entitled to exceptional treatment, and gaining what they desire from others serves to validate this distorted self-perception. However, to achieve their objectives, narcissists often resort to manipulation, coercion, intimidation, guilt-tripping, among other coercive tactics. When they fail to get what they want, or when others do not perceive them as they insist on being perceived, their self-image and control are severely challenged. This poses a threat to their delicate self-concept. Let's explore some situations where a narcissistic individual might experience a loss of control. Firstly, consider a scenario where their standard tactics fail to work. Perhaps the other person is receptive to dialogue, reasoning, and even compromise, but they remain steadfastly resistant to manipulation, coercion, bullying, or guilt-tripping. Or consider a situation where the narcissist seeks information about someone but no one is willing to reveal it. They refuse to relay messages or engage in gossip, adamantly rejecting the role of flying monkeys that narcissists often seek to assign. Alternatively, the narcissist might be in a relationship where their partner refuses to make them the sole focus of their lives. This partner insists on maintaining their relationships with friends and family and is unwilling to drop everything at the narcissist's whim. These are just a few of the many situations where a narcissist might feel they are losing control, eliciting a range of reactions as they grapple with this unfamiliar reality. Consider a situation where an individual establishes their boundaries, making it evident what the repercussions will be if these boundaries are crossed, and stays true to their word. The narcissist, caught in this situation, may complain about being treated unfairly. However, it may be pointed out to them that they are simply facing the consequences of their actions, actions they had been warned against repeatedly. It might even be highlighted that they are the architects of their own predicament. Furthermore, imagine a scenario where the narcissist's target doesn't respond as anticipated. Despite the narcissist's attempts to manipulate their emotions, whether by trying to flatter or embarrass them, provoke anger or aggression, the target remains unaffected. They don't succumb to threats, they're immune to gaslighting, and they dismiss strawman arguments immediately. The target stays calm, assertive, concise, and focused, no matter what the narcissist throws at them. This situation represents another instance where a narcissist might feel they are losing control. So, you may wonder, how does a narcissist react when they lose control? Firstly, the most blatant reaction of a narcissist when they lose control is to simply remove themselves from the situation. Narcissists generally perceive others as either beneficial to them or insignificant. Thus, if people do not show interest in their tales, are not impressed by them, or do not prioritize them above everything else, the narcissist may just decide to leave. They may seek greener pastures elsewhere because narcissists innately need a continuous supply of attention and admiration. If they cannot attain this from a particular source or individual, they might look for alternative sources of narcissistic nourishment. Narcissists are often drawn to individuals they can manipulate with relative ease. They might start a relationship, and if their partner does not center their life around them or idolize them to the extent they desire, they might abruptly end the relationship. They might express to their partner that they feel the other person is not as invested in the relationship as they are, 
or they might simply move on without explanation. When a narcissist fails to exert control, they may temporarily pull back from the situation. This could be due to feelings of shame for not maintaining their self-perceived superiority. Alternatively, they might use this time to rethink their strategies or find new ways to exploit others' weaknesses to regain control. Narcissists often have a wide array of manipulation tactics, honed over years. If one method fails, they may switch to others such as guilt-tripping, playing victim, charming, showing good humor, or acting generous. It's vital to understand that a change in a narcissist's tactics doesn't necessarily mean a change in the person. Recognizing this helps navigate their complex behavior when they use various manipulation techniques to regain control. It's important to understand that for a narcissist, the act of losing control is not merely a minor inconvenience. It's not just a simple challenge they can shrug off. Rather, it's a threat to their very sense of self. Narcissists construct their identity around being superior, being in control, and when this dynamic changes, their identity feels threatened. When this happens, you might notice that they become more persistent in their attempts to regain control. They might escalate their efforts, resorting to more aggressive and extreme tactics. This is because the stakes are high for them. Their self-image, their self-worth is on the line. Secondly, if the narcissist finds that their usual manipulative tactics are not working, they might resort to punishment as a form of control. For example, they might withhold something that the other person wants, using it as leverage to regain control. However, this tactic can backfire if the other person isn't affected by the narcissist's actions. Similarly, they might use the silent treatment as a form of punishment or manipulation. Yet, this can also fail if the other person either doesn't notice or doesn't react to the silent treatment. The narcissist might resort to threats, but again, this tactic can prove futile if the other person is not easily intimidated. The third tactic that a narcissist might use when they lose control is projection. It's not uncommon for narcissists to accuse others of the very things they themselves are guilty of. They might accuse the other person of being selfish, uncaring, or lacking empathy. Ironically, they might even accuse the other person of being controlling and manipulative. In a twist of events, they might accuse the other person of being a narcissist. When someone resists or escapes a narcissist's control, they typically launch a smear campaign, spreading lies, rumors, and negative information to damage their target's reputation and isolate them from others. Interestingly, the accusations they level against their target are often reflective of their own actions. Fourthly, a narcissist's failure to control or manipulate others as they have been accustomed to can result in a significant amount of frustration and unrest for them. Narcissists flourish on the power dynamic, the capacity to control and manipulate others to fulfill their own needs and desires. This power dynamic serves as a pedestal for their perceived superiority, and any shift in this balance can be seen as a direct challenge to their self-imagined dominance. When this power dynamic is disrupted and they begin to lose control, narcissists may react in a variety of ways. They might become angry, manifesting hostility towards those they believe are undermining their authority. This anger is often expressed through verbal outbursts, where they lash out at others using harsh or derogatory language in an attempt to reassert their dominance. Moreover, in their struggle to regain control, narcissists may resort to making threats, intending to instill fear in others. These threats can take on many forms, ranging from emotional manipulation to threats of harm to the individual's personal or professional life. They might also become vindictive, seeking revenge on those they perceive as responsible for their loss of control. This vindictiveness can manifest itself in various ways, such as spreading harmful rumors or creating uncomfortable situations for the other person. In the most extreme cases, when their frustration reaches a boiling point, they may even resort to physical intimidation as a last resort to regain control. This can involve using their physical presence, aggressive body language, or even physical force to try to re-establish their dominance. Fifthly, when a narcissist finds that they are not getting what they desire, they may perceive this as an unfair treatment. They might adopt the role of a misunderstood hero, demanding what they believe is their due from a standpoint of victimhood. 
Their definition of fairness, however, often involves others bending to their will and fulfilling their demands. In some cases, they may involve third parties to create a triangle of manipulation, altering the dynamics of the situation to their advantage. They might seek validation and support from these third parties, not only to undermine the authenticity of the person they are targeting but also to create divisions. This tactic is commonly referred to as divide and conquer. Their target may crumble under the pressure exerted from multiple sources. This is the fifth tactic that narcissists commonly employ when they start to lose control. Moving on to the sixth point, if a narcissist consistently fails in their efforts to control or dominate others, it can lead to them feeling powerless. This is dramatically different from their usual demeanor, characterized by grandiosity and entitlement. Such a situation can trigger feelings of depression and anxiety within them. Their already fragile self-esteem may take a further hit, leading them to experience feelings of worthlessness and despair. This can result in a phenomenon known as a narcissistic collapse. For more information on this, you can refer to a video I previously made on the subject. But to give a brief idea, a narcissistic collapse can sometimes manifest as a depression rooted in shame. Finally, the seventh and last point to note is that the reaction of a narcissist to losing control can vary depending on where they fall on the narcissistic spectrum. The inability to control others, the absence of the validation and admiration they crave, and the perceived threat to their delicate self-concept can potentially lead some narcissists to introspection. They may start to question their actions and the effects they have on others, as well as the impact on their own well-being. They may even begin to accept that it's perfectly fine to be part of something without owning and controlling everything. Unfortunately, due to the nature of narcissism, this realization is often fleeting. Remember, narcissists have a very fragile and a false sense of self. They generally do not enjoy self-reflection. Thus, they might respond by becoming even more determined to regain control and dominance over those who resisted them. They may heighten their manipulative tactics or even seek revenge against those they perceive as threats to their self-esteem. In such situations, we often witness a narcissist's vindictive side. So, to summarize, narcissists often exhibit a strong need to control and manipulate others, driven by their desire for admiration, validation, and power. However, their need for control often reveals their dependence on others, sometimes resulting in self-destructive behavior as their attempts to gain control push others away. The key to countering a narcissist's control is authenticity. Narcissists, who often struggle with genuine self-awareness, find it challenging to handle individuals who are true to themselves. This authenticity can serve as a powerful defense against a narcissist's manipulation. These are just some common reactions narcissists display when they fail to control someone. If you'd like to learn more about authenticity and its effectiveness against narcissistic manipulation, or if you believe I've overlooked something, please leave a comment below. If you found this discussion helpful, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.